Apparently, when I added a dish at 2 a.m., I didn't restart it right, as best as we can tell, which is better than there being a problem with the dishwasher. Right. But it's slowing down coffee production That's this right. morning, and I'm not happy about I'm it. Started the morning by washing dishes. <laughs> Just enough to get us going for coffee. All the rest are back in the dishwasher. We've got a nice, gentle rain right now. I'm going to go out and ruby in a little bit, but first. A couple of things in the garage. Here's Don putting uh, shrink wrap on the ends of a couple of cables. It really does, we talked about this before, help me uh, not to abuse the cable and ruin it right away. Yeah. He's Don's been doing this for years, so. Right, well it does seem to help him stay, last just a little longer. Well, I swear if he doesn't do that, they last a month, and if he does that, they last six months, so. Yeah, well, these are pretty pricey cables. I think they're 12 bucks a piece. I think I got two of them for 24 bucks. These were supposed to be extended life, yeah, made for people like me. Apple sort of, all the, had all right the buzzwords. buzzwords. I have no idea if any of them are true or not. Hopefully I didn't cook the little chip. Yeah, it's not happened before, so. Yeah, I, I think I've got it. It's the new cat tree for the garage kitty cats. Complete with rope and dangly bits. <laughs> well, this is going to drive them wild. They're going to go insane. It'll last for five seconds. They'll chew it off and it'll be on the floor, but that's okay. Ooh, soft. <laughs> it's gray to match the garage and to match the cats. I have a beige one in the house with black cats. Don't ever do that. Just, just a pro tip here with cat trees. Order a cat tree. It's not just about matching the decor, it's about matching the cats. <laughs> That's a little hammock that's uh, on the side. This is a really hmm, nice one. Of course it is. <laughs> it is. Nothing for the best for my kitties. Right. The thing that was really nice about this one is some of them, they really skimp on the amount of um, sisal rope. It'll be like carpet to here. Yeah. Three inches of sisal rope and then carpet. And that's, the sisal rope's expensive. You don't want, I mean, you don't want to have to replace it. You don't want only three inches of sisal rope. So my recommendation is, even though they don't use this part and this part, get full sisal. And then Don is able to repair it for cheaper than buying a new cat tree if we need to. I don't know if the outside kitties will care. The inside kitties love the sisal rope, but I suspect the outside kitties have other scratching opportunities. That's from the instructions. It's like <laughs> I was getting worried. <laughs> yeah, you had to engineer this all on your own. They just provide the parts, Donnie, but they don't actually tell you how they go. You Not say here. Yeah. There are actually quite a few different size pieces of hardware, so Don's using his handy sorter that he got at Harbor Freight to uh, separate them out. Yay, Johnny's on the job now. Yeah. Woohoo! I'm putting my feet up, relaxing. I got the highly skilled A team out here working on this cat tree. <laughs> Woo! Standing by, ready to assist, but we're not going to need That's any right. help, right, Johnny? Yeah, no, I mean, you don't need a little goober like me to help. No, no. Wow, it's starting to look like a real cat tree. Yep. I really wondered about this collapsible thing for the square, but with the four posts inside the columns, I think it's a perfectly fine design. Wow, I'm really liking it. I can't wait to see it done. You're doing a great job, Johnny. Freeing up Mr. Don to work on five other projects. I added one to the list today. Well, it's done. Yeah. Yay! Very impressive. 
I'm ready to move in right now. <laughs> Can you guys get it up on the red card over there for me, please? Yep. So that's about what it's going to look like. And um, the guys are going to mount this on top of that, on top of another piece that's actually big enough to support this because that's a little too small. There you go. Now, now don't push so hard. Do it the other way. There you go. One more click. Yay! Johnny's learning! Woohoo! There we have it. The finished thing. And this obviously to get in the freezer, it just pulls out and pushes back. No big deal. I'm in Ruby. I'm going to play Pogo. I need um, some coconut um, milk. Uh, cream coconut stuff to make Johnny and I guess us uh, a smoothie from um, town from the store I'm probably gonna run into Harris Teeter so anyway I'm in Ruby I'm headed out I'm gonna try to test a couple of stoplights along the way so just um, hopefully a brief update on using the Chromebook last night instead of the MacBook um, look I I am good at Chrome uh, Android I'm good at Apple and I'm certainly have had plenty of experience with Windows although it would be my third choice of a operating system to use um, I think we've got the HP Chromebook I'm using set up um, so that I can you know use it well I've got my password manager on it I changed the scroll direction from the touchpad which was driving me nuts and um, you know Don helped me download trim video or video trim so i have a video trimming capability i mostly use that for creating the one second everyday videos uh, taking one of the long videos and taking out a 15 second clip and sending it to my phone unfortunately the one second everyday app only runs on my phone it doesn't run on um well you know i might be able to get it to run on the chromebook but i but it, right now i only can use it on my phone um you know i grumbled a little bit uh, this keyboard does not have lighted keys on this um, Chromebook and um, you know I am 50 word a minute solid typist on the letters but uh, special symbols and numbers like trying to enter in my Google password um, my very cryptic Google password uh, when it was dark in the room at just the TV light that was kind of hard um, I think I'm doing okay I mean, it's taken me a little longer and to set up the first day, you know, was a little bit to get my account on that Chromebook set up just right. But I, I think I'm good to go. Certainly going to be able to make the videos. May still be grumbling a little bit, but um, I like Chromebooks. I do. I Matter of fact, when I start, first started making the Tesla Ruby videos, one of the reasons why I picked Wii Video as my tool was because I was on a Chromebook without a real hard drive and... Um, we video runs as a tab in the browser so uh, i was actually using a chromebook in the very beginning and then don got me the macbook because without hooking up an external drive it was a little hard for me to have n number of gigabytes of data a day and no hard drive space to really store that on because i think the chromebooks most of most of the ones that we had at the time were limited to 16 gigabytes so anyway i'm surviving don's surviving <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think it's going to work. Still hoping my MacBook comes back sooner than later. The thing the MacBook freed me from was Windows updates, which were atrocious. Horrible long boot up times, at least on the Windows machine I had. I think it's better now. And, uh, you know, a real, a real hard drive. And it just, you know, really I use the MacBook every day and I rarely rarely have a complaint i use the chromebook i have a complaint or two a day i use windows and i'm basically probably because i don't have a brand new windows machine that's running well but basically every time i try to use windows i grumble the entire time so <laughs> i'm sort of in the middle here with the chromebook but i'm surviving I'm on Judd Parkway. I'm approaching a green light. There's a couple of cars in front of me. I clicked on the stock to tell her she could go through. She slowed up because those cars had slowed up. She handled that just fine. I'm 
headed through the light up here where Walmart is, although I'm gonna head to the right where Harris Teeter is located versus to the left where Walmart is located. Gonna slow up, Ruby. I applied my foot to the accelerator to get her to go to speed up. That was her making the noise with the brakes, not me. I did not hit the brake. I only pressed the accelerator pedal. Don's noted that, you know, Jules makes a lot of noise with the brake pedal. Ruby makes quite a good bit of noise with the brake pedal sometimes too. Whoa, that was all Ruby doing that. That was not me. She got a little wobbly in the lane there. I thought the paint markings were fine, but... I clicked the uh, stock to tell her to go through. Dropping my speed down, wish she would do that on her own. Coming up here on another light, hitting the stalk to tell her it's safe to go through. Light is green, green, green. Car to my right stopped like they should have. And I'm gonna end the test by putting my foot on the brake pedal. I need to get over into the lane next to me. Practicing the Ruby exercise program today. Harris Teeter is packed. I really only am going in for one thing, so I'm gonna try to grab and go, grab and go. I did get right what I wanted and right back out of the store. Looks like we might get some more rain. I checked the rain gauge right before I left and between overnight rain and rain during the day today, we had about an inch. Some places locally had more like three inches, but we did not get the excessive rain at our house. Here at the Jersey Mike's intersection. Lights turned green. I uh, hit the stalk. This light is green. Ruby's slowing because the guy in the front made a turn. Hopefully she's just gonna follow this car through. I did not have to do any signaling with the stick that time. She got a little confused and decided to ask me to uh, tell her to go there. I would say that wasn't very smooth for the guy behind me. He wasn't close, but it still wasn't very smooth. Lowering my speed because it is getting ready to drop to 25. Hey, hey, I'm doing 25, we're good now, we're good. Oh, there we go, I thought I hit it twice. I uh, hit the stock to tell her to go through the green light. Uh, there's a guy up here backing in, so I'm going to hit the brake and uh, just make sure he's clear and happy. 
you notice when I go down this road I'm always a little bit to the left over the line and that's just because when people um, now she's stopping all on her own here that's because people do crazy things with those parked cars that are parked parallel to the street and I just like to steer clear and there's enough room in the middle to kind of do that so I'm ready to hit the stock when the light turns green. I hit the stock. She took off. You know, it's the same old thing. Sometimes she takes off faster than necessary and other times she's so slow you want to give her a little kick. That time was pretty quick considering we're in downtown Fuquay. Well, she handled all of that just fine. I uh, circled through downtown and caught some pokeballs, stopped and, you know, did a raid and stuff, and now I am uh, headed back over to South Park. She's let me know she's seen this light. There's nobody in front of me. I'm hitting the stalk to tell her to go through. Everything looks good. Turn signal on and slowing up to go into South Park. Well, I was pretty impressed with um, how Ruby handled the stoplights and stop signs today. Yeah, it was um, no big deal hitting the stalk to tell her to just go on through. And um, yeah, it seemed pretty smooth. I felt, you know, like she was braking or stopping about when I would have, so. Oh, it didn't feel like I was left hanging out there or anything waiting to see if she would stop or not. So, um, it was, uh, I felt it was a good test. I don't know how much I'll actually use it, like, when I'm driving down Main Street Fuquay, probably not. But, um, it's there. It's certainly there. And, um, I'm impressed. Well, if you like nature, this is cool. I guess uh, the praying mantis has some sort of a uh, caterpillar. We're nacho, nacho man. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy the nachos now. <laughs> yep. Johnny likes a little sour cream on his. Well, we're having another gully washer out there. Yummy quiche for dinner tonight. 